Welcome to the first episode of Building the Ultimate Team in Prodigy. Today's episode is, first of all, we're starting with the basics. We have to start with basics before we get to the higher level stuff, which you'll see in future episodes. Yes, sir. Now, when you start Prodigy, you obviously choose a starter pet, right? A lot of people go for something they just like the looks of, but you can't do that because looks don't matter. Yeah. That's a that, that's that's a life message too. You shouldn't care too much about your looks. Yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. It's, it's a life message. See, we're so educational. Okay, so. Um, using Sprout is definitely the number one option. As a Prodigy player that is level 100 myself and has like experience playing Prodigy, I would use this pet at level 100. Not only because its health is literally insane at 850, and that's just the de-evolved version with no charged levels or anything. Like that's insane. Plus, these spells are just like you can't argue. These spells are just too good. Like, they're just too good. You can't argue with these spells. Plus, the evolving them gets you Pom Pom. With, with D Derek likes Pom Pom. Yeah, lots of health. Yep, lots of health, great spells, and everything. I think Bud Beak is pretty, is decent too. Like, they're all decent. I, I just don't like how Pom Pom doesn't have an AoE. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't evolve him all the way. Okay. Next step, if you want a good team, you're gonna have to get a good wand. You don't want your wizard just to be lacking. Most people struggle with that in the beginning of the game just because, oh, all the good looking expensive wands are high level. That is true, but some wands are good looking, have a good spell, and are low level. Uh, one of those that I recommend I used myself at level 100 is Earthquake. Now Earthquake is actually a great wand, um, although the power bonus may not be the most appealing at 93, Tremor, believe me, and Derek Frostblade when we say that it is a great smell. Yeah. Trem <laughs> Tremor is insane. We little, it's like one of the best in the game, one of the best in the game. So, and another great recommendation for a wand but from Hot Hot Threads is we go for um, the um, Veggie Rod here. It has Thump with a power bonus of 115, which is, is decent. Only, you only have to be around level 37 to get this wand, which is not too high. For the Earthquake, you have to be like around 27. This one's around 37. Um, it has Thump, a great spell. No arguing with that. Again, 7 power, no recharge. It's amazing. Literally amazing. And finally, we're going to talk about the pets themselves. Now, if you want to be a competitor, as someone who's actually good at the game, you want pets with high health. You don't want pets with looks, like obviously the people who have high health don't look very good, like Fathom is Fathom, and Fathom is Fathom's cousin. Like those guys are the ones you're gonna want to go for, plus as soon as you can go to the Dragon Isle, which is is, is not, not yet here on my on, on this um, account, but um, as soon as you can go to the Dragon's Isle, it is by far the best place to catch pets like you can get all sorts of pets for any basic pet recommendations i would choose like anything with a lot of health snoot is decent don't get crook fang don't get articlaw don't get gnaughty okay that's all i have to say anyway please stick around for episode two where we're gonna be talking more about the combo of your pets or pet combo Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video or episode and subscribe and see you in the next one.